Hey friends, I'm Amy, a health coach here at Flip Your Leaf, and today we're talking about prebiotics. Now, prebiotics are a specific type of fiber that isn't digested by our body, but is digested by our good gut bug community. And so I like to think of them as like a little bag lunch for our gut bugs. Now, if you're in the low FODMAP diet, this is a really important conversation for us to have, and that's because many prebiotics are high FODMAP, which means when you're in the elimination phase of the program, that, that first phase of the program, we have removed a chunk of our good gut bug community's food sources. If we're not being intentional about keeping prebiotics in our diet, they might not have anything to eat for the first phase of the low FODMAP program. Now, I don't want you to panic. You can take a deep breath. This is not something you need to lose sleep over. Like the program was designed that you cannot do any permanent damage to your gut bug community in the six weeks allotted. But if you are, you know, worried, am I being a good parent to my gut bugs? Um, you know, is, is there anything I can do to support my gut bug community? Um, you know, while I'm going through this process, absolutely. There are tons of low FODMAP servings of prebiotic foods that are available to you. Um, there are lots of resources online. You can ask a health coach or a dietitian who is trained in the low FODMAP diet to help you find sources of low FODMAP prebiotic foods, or I have a free um, downloadable list of low FODMAP prebiotic foods that you can actually just grab in my free resource library. I'll make sure to put the link for that below. Um, but before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You are going to get a ton of more information on IBS, the mechanics of FODMAPs, and really how to make your body feel like home. I'll see you in my next video.